Last year, the government sent us lots of money, but we had no way to spend it. We couldn't travel. We couldn't go out to dinner or to the theater. And many products were in short supply. We couldn't even find an upgraded home to purchase. So the United States experienced the highest savings rate in the history of the country at around 33%. At the same time, debt was being paid down at historic levels. As a result, many folks poured money into fixing up their home, they bought furnishing, and they purchased some of the toys that they could still play with until even those were out of stock. As we head into the fall of 2021, we have massive shortages in things that are keeping consumers from buying the things they actually want. There are not enough homes, cars, trucks, electronic products, bicycles, and other goods. So consumers continue to save, even if it's at a lower rate, it's still around 12 to 15%. Obviously, this is a very good thing in general, but like last year, it is very likely that consumers will once again look for ways to spend at least some of that money. Is there some way your company can take advantage of this opportunity? Tell us in the comments below. Will you be raising your prices in this environment? Are you able to get enough product to even meet demand? Have you shifted your marketing strategy at all due to this heightened consumer demand? One also has to wonder how long this situation will persist. If factories are able to stay open this winter, will they begin to fill some of this overhanging demand? In general, I personally think the consumer will be in great shape all next year and maybe even beyond that. They have saved up a bunch of money and they've paid off debt. This means they'll have lots of spending power if they can find things that they want to buy. Do you see any dangers ahead? Are you taking any steps to avoid possible unexpected disruptions in this economic wave? Have you created additional savings or investments as a hedge? Please tell us in the comments below. This has been Randy Kirk at Small Business Daily. We'll see you next time.